Thanks for tuning in on the channel. If you haven't done so, please do me a favor. Smash that like button. Leave some comments down below in your opinions on the video. And maybe some questions you have that I can answer. And subscribe if you haven't. So I am a Toro host, if you didn't know that already. You can check some of my other videos that I have about Toro. And today I wanted to do a video of a day of being a Toro host. So I'm gonna do a delivery. I want to bring you along for the ride so you can see how it is if you're not already uh, doing Toro yourself. So we're gonna do that delivery to the airport. You're gonna see me driving. You're gonna see me do the full walk around. That way you get a feel for it. Um, and if you are a host already and maybe you don't do deliveries, if you live near an airport, I recommend try it out. That's my opinion. I get the majority of my business from the airport, but I do live close to the airport. But this gives everybody an opportunity if they haven't done the delivery to kind of get a feel for it. So come with me for the ride. check-in so you'll see everything follow me so you're gonna go on your app you're gonna find your trip if you have multiple cars if you only have one you should see it right away so I found the trip as you can see found the trip um, now we're gonna get started and I'm gonna add the photos so we're going to take photos and then you want to at least take 15 photos or more you want to take photos of everything that you can in case there is some damage um it is proven that it wasn't on the car so you're going to see me take a lot of photos here i like to get the rims close up show that there's no scratch or anything on the rims I also like to get the windshield, show that there's no cracks or anything. The roof, the sides. The front, roll on the bottom as well, in case any scratches. It's kind of dark in this area, so I'm going to put the flash, make sure. photos
Now we're going to do the inside. So something very important, you want to get the dash showing the miles and showing that the car is full. That way if the guest brings the car back and it's not at the same fuel level that you left it with, you have proof. And that way you can get reimbursed for it and then uh, Toro is going to charge you a $10, uh, it's going to charge the guest $10 fee for that. So you're going to get the money back for refueling plus $10. So you actually make a little bit money off of it. photos I like to get door panels get the dash the seats I even get the roof a lot of people don't like to get the roof I like to get it just in case people um, damage it or kids color on it by accident you want to get everything you never know what can happen different people are in the car always uh, you never know what someone will do. I also like to make sure to show that the spare tires in the car and everything. So as you see, lots of pictures. Right now, I'm going to get the dash. So the car is full. Take photos of that. Here's my proof. Then you're going to go ahead and And then you're gonna put the miles in the fuel. So attach photos, save. Then here, I'll put the uh, miles on the vehicle and the fuel level. So we're gonna put full and the miles. So I did that. And so, got all that. Now, we're going to Get the lockbox for the guests when they come. So put it here on the window. I put the ticket there in the cup holder for the guests, which this will vary. This is only because we're doing airport. We have a parking ticket in there. You're going to hire a code. <laughs> All right. So open, put the key here, make sure the car's locked, which is this. All right, again, hide the code. <laughs> Just joking, but you do want to keep that a secret here. The car is locked. We'll do a walk around and check. All right, so you saw us do the walk around. Again, very important. Make sure you're getting at least 15 pictures of the exterior. Get more if you can. The more, the better. The interior, get a ton of pictures. Make sure you take a picture of the dash showing your fuel, the miles, in case the gas goes over on miles or doesn't return it on the proper fuel. And of course, also if there's any damage. Very important. So I highly recommend that you don't skip this step. And also when they return it, make sure to do the same thing. Even if you do a walk around, you see that the car is perfectly fine. It's very important because you might miss something. And if you didn't take pictures and 24 hours pass by after the vehicle has been returned and you didn't catch that damage, guess what? Now it's going to come out of your pocket and you can't get reimbursed. So make sure you're taking the photos. Even if you think you don't need to, always do is my tip, my recommendation. You saw this is a contact list, so we have the lockbox. This is what we do because sometimes we can't see the guests, so we like to do it this way and we just communicate with them through the app. So now you got to see uh, how I do it. You saw me drop off a car for a guest that's going to be coming soon for the vehicle. 
And hopefully this helped you. If you're thinking about joining Toro, you kind of get an inside idea. And if you are already doing Toro, hopefully this uh, gave you some tips to help you with your car and growing your fleet. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to leave some comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and check some of my other videos. Thanks for watching.